righty. Little bit of news at noon. That's right, folks. Big Dave Meltzer there was giving his opinion or his informed uh, backstage opinion there on uh, McMahon versus McAfee there. I don't know. They're advertising. They're going. It's 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 listed as a match on the format for the show. How does he know this? Has he seen the format? No! <laughs> Has he hoid about some format? Maybe there, but apparently McMahon and McAfee there, it's it's on the format. It's going to be a bunch of smoke and mirrors. I think the whole story is smoke and mirrors there. But they're going to use McMahon's name and Pat McAfee's name to sell tickets. Lots of tickets left to sell. So taking that shot there, they still have to sell tickets. Um, they got something worked out. They're going to do it. Time will tell, folks, what happens there until I think it's Thursday. McMahon is supposed to appear on this show, and we'll see what the deal is. But um, McAfee himself, folks, wrote on Twitter, you all seem to know a lot more about what I'm up to than me. So, in other words, he hasn't heard any of these plans or whatever, unless he's faking. You all seem to know a lot more about what I'm up to than me. So, the way it sounds, these plans, him against McMahon, apparently he doesn't know about this. So, he's pretty much denying it. I'm excited to see what happens at this point. WrestleMania chatter is wild right now. If you think I'm going to be a part of something that won't be a banger, then you're out of your mind. So, is he saying him against McMahon wouldn't be a banger? Because he had a few matches before. So, is he saying the match wouldn't be a banger, therefore he won't do it. Is he saying that if he does wrestle McMahon, it would be a banger? You know, based on this first line there, you all seem to know a lot more about what I'm up to than me. Kind of sounds like he's uh, denying this whole thing and he thinks that it's wild or whatever, but... We'll see what happens. I'm thinking it's not happening. 76-year-old McMahon there. But according to Mike Johnson, folks, there's no creative plans for Asuka, which is why she hasn't returned. McMahon, why? Every year, every couple of months, there's a new Asuka victim story or whatever. Can we let this go there? Mike Johnson, it's obvious, just a guess in the Q&A. He's not privy to creative plans about Oscar or whatever. It's a good guess that there's no plans. Creative, not ready for Oscar. You know what I mean? It's, but they put this out. Oh, McMahon is wronging. He's hurting Oscar once again. Oscar must be crying about this. There, she should go to AEW. It's the same Oscar victim story every couple of months. There, but Mike Johnson, he's obviously just guessing about this. There, apparently Cody had a big phone call with DDP. There. Big phone call or whatever, two days before Cody quit. And apparently Cody said this to DDP. 
listen, I'm going to tell you something, but I can't tell you too much. I love Tony Khan and he loves me, but we're going to split up. They were in a relationship. Now they're splitting up. I'm going to go off and do something else. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what it is right now, but I promise at some point I will or whatever. So, is this a bunch of bullshit? Is Cody getting DDP to say this stuff to try to build up some hype? Um, so, basically, Cody had a phone call with DDP and it was very vague. And he gave in zero information. Breaking news there. Breaking news. But it says he's going to go off and do something else. We'll see what that is. If it happens, he might just go back to AEW. Who knows, folks? At this point, I don't even give a fuck. Dude. Ringside news. Reporting. There's no creative plan for Elias. It's creative purgatory. Jeez. McMahon, not again. Um, Elias, it's true that they don't really use him that well. They never let him win. Uh, you know, there's some guy that needs better creative or whatever. But again, we don't know the story. We don't know what happens backstage. Why he's never on TV, but hopefully at some point business will pick up for Elias or whatever. Shane McMahon, he was at some sporting event, I think a baseball game in New York. I could be wrong there, but he posed next to a picture of Hogan that was at the arena there. Or stadium, whatever. And he was in front of the Hogan picture. And he's like, oh, look what I walked into. And he said, hey, Hogan, you got one more in you? Like a fake challenge, you know. As a joke or something. Wrestle talk. You know, they treat this like he's serious. Apparently, Shane is challenging Ogin for real because he has a big ego. It's obvious just goofing around for fun or whatever. Just putting a Twitter out there. It also could be mocking all the goofy rumors. Austin coming back. McMahon at 76 year old wrestling in the match. This could be Shane just poking fun about this there. Trying to throw oil in the fire there, but um, just a non story basically there. Um, and according to multiple sources, Bobby Lashley is trying to get medically cleared. For WrestleMania, including the MSG show, the big live show there. Um, hopefully it happens. Hopefully he's going to be fine. It's possible that he's not injured. You know what I mean? He took that, the concussion in the cage. It's fake, obviously, right? Um, there's rumors that he has shoulder issues. Is it real? Is it fake? Right? Are they doing this just so he doesn't get beat up at Mania, at MSG by Lesnar, just to keep him looking strong or whatever? If they do unify the belts, you can have Roman against Bobby later on, maybe Brock if he wins versus Bobby again after Mania. It's possible he's not even injured there, but we, we don't know the truth. If he is injured, hopefully he's okay and makes it there. So there's your news at noon, folks. Stay tuned for more news. Until next time, peace. Ha! Let's dance, folks. Bring this to 10 minutes there. Ha <laughs> ha!